All right. Good morning, everyone. 大家早。You know, it's always good seeing you here on a communion Sunday.、Um, we had a we had a really good Christmas Eve candlelight service this past Thursday. 啊、uh, ，能够在圣餐的主日看到大家真的非常非常高兴啊！ Uh, 礼拜四的晚上，我们真的有个美好的圣诞的烛光崇拜，感谢主。You know, the Lord really blessed it, and、um, and it's good to have the gospel、um, shared with many people who weren't Christians. 呃，能够在这样的一个场合，呃，把主的福音来传播出去，特别我们知道有些参与的这些呃弟兄姐妹，他们还没有信主，我们真的很高兴有这样的场合可以传传福音。So let's start this morning with a prayer。我们起来祷告。Heavenly Father， 亲爱的天父 ，We thank you again for this morning。我们再次为了今天献上感谢。You allow us to to come to church to worship you。你容让我们能够来教堂来敬拜你。So help us now to just, just rest in you and rest our minds and our hearts in you. 主要帮助我们呃沉淀我们的心，让我们的心灵能够沉浸下来，在你的脚脚脚座，在你的宝座面前。And leave all that worries, all that burdens, um, and everything that's, that's. Burdening us, heavy in our hearts. Just leave them outside. 主要帮助我们把忧虑、把重担、把这属世的这些都能够呃放在你的脚前。And may your word penetrate our hearts. 让你的话语能够进入到我们的心中。We pray in the name of Jesus. 祷告奉主耶稣基督的圣名。Amen. You know, I remember when I was in high school, and、um, there was this one guy. He was a hippie. He had long hair. And he was pretty much on drugs, pretty much most of the time was high, and、uh, which was very common at that time. Ah,、uh, 当牧师还在念中学的时候，他在校园里面有一个像啊、uh, 留着长头发、嬉皮打扮的人啊， uh, 这个人他常常啊、uh, 用毒品，然后让自己很嗨。But one day he came to school, a changed person, still long hair, but he was sharing the gospel, Jesus, with everyone. 但有一天，这个人出现在校园，他一样还是留着长发，但是他呃，因因着耶稣，他的生命改变了。And he was handing out these tracts about Jesus. In fact, I I just put some tracts back there in in memory of this guy.、Uh, there's a four spiritual laws back there you can give to other people. But he was just sharing love of Jesus with everyone. 啊，这个嬉皮打扮的人，他手里拿着呃有关介绍耶稣的单张，然后四处向人家呃呃呃发送。然后牧师在后面也准备了一个属灵势力的一些福音单张，呃，也是为了纪念这个人。So I see this guy in the hallways passing by, and one day I was in the school bathroom, you know, standing at one of the stalls, and and Lord and behold, he came in and stood next to me. 啊，这个人他经常在啊。呃，教室啊，在那个教育厅里面啊，做出入。那有一天，牧师在上厕所的时候，哎，发现旁边站的人是，居然是他。And he started sharing the gospel with me. 呃，在上厕所的时候，他居然跟牧师传福音。And then I, I quickly told him, you know, I, I go to church and um and you know I, I understand and I finish my business, wash my hands, and I got out of there quickly. 呃，牧师说，我我我有去教会了，然后牧师赶快呃解决了，然后洗手，然后赶快离开。I didn't want because people were calling this guy a Jesus freak, a fanatic, and I didn't want to be lumped with him. 啊，因为人们说这个人他是一个耶稣怪胎，他是一个狂热分子，而牧师可不想跟他有任何的牵扯。You know, we are in Mark chapter fourteen this week, and we're going to spend a couple of weeks. Here in Mark chapter 14, and today Mark 14:1 and 2. After two days, it was the Passover and the feast of the unleavened bread, and the chief priests and the scribes sought how they might take him by trickery and put him to death. But they said, "Not during the feast, lest there be an uproar, uproar of the people." 啊，按照圣经的进度，我们在马可福音十四章，牧师会花几个礼拜的时间在马可福音十四章上面。然后马可福音十四章一到二节，过两天是逾越节，又是除孝节。祭司长和文士想法子用诡计捉拿耶稣杀他，只是说当节的日子不可，恐怕百姓生乱。So this was two days before the Passover, and Jesus would soon. Be on the cross. 除孝节是逾越节的前两天。那我们知道主耶稣基督两天后就走上十字架。So Mark's telling us that these religious leaders, these chief priests, these scribes, 
they wanted to kill Jesus. So Mark 福音告诉我们说，这些祭司长、这些文士呢，想诡计要来杀害耶稣。And we've been studying Mark for a while now, and all these religious people, they were supposed to represent God. They were the leaders of the church. 我们呃，研习马可福音已经一段时间了。我们知道这些祭司长、这些这些文士，他们是上帝的选民，应该代表上帝啊。But they did not like what Jesus had to say to them, and so they plotted to kill Jesus. 但是这些祭司长、这个这些文士非常不喜欢耶稣指责他们，所以他们计划要把他杀了。They were not just hypocritical, but they were crafty. They were trickery. They didn't want to do all of this. They plotted actually in secret, not wanting anyone to know, and they didn't want to do it in public during the Passover because there may be an uproar during the Passover. These 祭司长、这些文士非常假冒伪善，外表尽显，内心却是在暗中、在私下在计划要杀害耶稣。然后呢，他们又不想说，在这个季节的日子，如果杀耶稣的话，恐怕会生乱。So we want to stop this guy. Before he gets any more power, we're going to kill him. These 祭司长和文士要阻止耶稣，免得耶稣要增加了更多的权势，要蛊惑了更多人。But we want to do it in a respectful way. You know, how do you kill someone in a respectful way? But we want to do it in a respectful way, not in front of everybody. 但是我们要用比较所谓的合情合理的方式把耶稣给解决掉。但是杀人，杀人怎么样用合情合理的方式呢 ？Their hearts. Were dark, and they plotted in secret. Their hearts were dark, so they plotted in secret. But God is still in control, even in the darkest moments. But God is still in control. 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 But God is still in The king, of, kings of the earth, set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against His anointed, saying, 诗篇二章一到二节，外邦为什么争闹？万民为什么起来谋算虚妄的事？世上的君王一起起来，臣宰一同商议，要抵挡耶和华，并他的受膏者。So here in Mark chapter fourteen, this was happening. The religious leaders, the scribes, the people with power and influence, influence, they're plotting against God's anointed. But God said, "It's a vain thing." 所以诗篇二十二篇的一到二节所记载的，正是现在所发生的情况。世上的君臣，这些有权势的人，一起起来谋议，要把神的受膏者给杀掉。Then in Psalm two four to six, he who sits in the heaven shall laugh; the Lord shall hold them in derision. Verse five. Then he shall speak to them in his wrath and distress them in his deep displeasure. Yet I have set my king on my holy hill of Zion. 诗篇二章四到六节，那坐在天上的，就是我们的神，必发笑，主必嗤笑他们。那时他要在烈怒中责备他们，在烈怒中惊吓他们，说：“我已经立了我的君王在西安，我的圣山上了。” Powerful people, religious people, people who go to church, plotting, but God sees, God knows, and God laughs at them, thinking that they could hide. 这些世上的这些有权势的、这些外表尽显的这些掌权者、这些宗教的人士，他们心中谋害、要伤害耶稣，但是神在天上早已经知道他们心中的诡计了。He hold, he will hold these people in derision. In God's timing, He's gonna put His anointed, God's Son, the Messiah, on a holy hill in place of honor. 神在怒中要责备他们，在烈怒中要惊吓他们，因为神已经让那圣者安坐在锡安山上。You know, I would hate to be on the side of God's displeasure and relieve and receive distress from Almighty God. 啊，我可不希望我是呃，在神的眼中是被他生气的一个对象，在他的烈怒当中，我是他的生气的对象，我可不愿意如此啊。So how do you know which side you're on? 啊、uh, ，那你知道你到底站在哪一边呢 ？If you are already distressed and have to plot to talk to this guy, to talk to that guy, and make sure they understand and they're on your side and rushing to do this and that and feeling very stressful, stressed out. 
如果你是已经在压力当中，你必须跟这个人拉拢，这个人拉拢那个人，跟你讲说：“哦，我非常非常的啊担忧害怕，充满了压力。”你是不是在这样的情况当中 ？Sometimes having secret meetings and worry about if someone finds out and feeling very rushed. Instead, instead of giving it to God, just wait for Him to lead you and allow. Him in His timing to take care of it. 还是你必须想方设法，想说召集很多的会议，私下的会议，担心人家知道的这些密谋的事情，而不是自己全心的交托仰望神。你是这样的情况吗 ？See, when we spend time with the Lord in His Word, in prayer, and in just enjoy being with Him, instead of being just stressed out and worrying about this or that, you know, I learned in my what. Almost, almost six decades of life here, that God takes care of things a lot better than me running around thinking that I'm smarter than Him. 还是说你必须靠着自己的力量，然后想尽各方各种的方式来解决问题？还是说你安心的把自己完全交代交给这个全能的主？那在牧师六十年的这个生命的经验历程里面，他非常非常清楚，在神的手里面比在人的手里面好啊。Almost sixty years. Oh, almost. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. I don't want to go too fast. You know, when I give it to the Lord, it's a lot less stressful. 啊，如果全心交托在神的手里的话，牧师的压力减轻好多啊。God knew about Mark fourteen and the secret plots of these powerful. But stressed out people. Ah,、uh, 神非常非常清楚在马可福音十四十四章记载的内容。这些祭司长，这些文字，绞尽脑汁想方设法设法要杀害耶稣，神都知道啊。They in the end will be in God's displeasure. 这些祭司长，这些文士，在他们的终局将会在神的烈怒当中。In fact, it's deep displeasure. 而且是非常非常的恐惧担心，在神的手里。So these beginning verses of Mark fourteen. Are very dark, but in the midst of darkness, light and beauty shines even brighter. 在马可福音的呃十四章的前面的记载里面，好像看起来是非常非常黑暗，但是在后来的几个经文里面，我们会看看见很漂亮、很美丽、光明的事情。Because when there's light in the midst of darkness, that light shines brighter. 我们知道，在黑暗当中，如果有光照进来的话，你会发觉这光真的是非常明亮。Mark fourteen three and being in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, as he sat at the table, a woman came having an alabaster flask of very costly oil of spikenard. Then she broke the flask and poured it on his head. 啊，马可福音十四章三节，耶稣在伯大尼长大麻风的西门家里坐席的时候，有一个女人拿着玉瓶，玉至贵的珍纳达香膏，打破玉瓶，把膏浇在耶稣的头上。So this unnamed woman, we don't know what her name is, came to the house of Simon the leper where Jesus was, and she had this alabaster flask. 啊，这个不知名的这个女人来到这个长大麻风西门的家里面，拿着一瓶非常非常昂贵的珍纳达香膏。Alabaster is a translucent. It's very translucent and fragile. 这个玉瓶呢是非常半透明的，而且非常容易碎。So what's inside this alabaster flask? 那这个玉瓶里面到底装什么呢 ？It was the oil of spikenard, which is like a perfumed oil. 啊，这里面装的就是香膏，有时会散发香气的油膏。So if you Google Oil of spikenard. You'll find out it's a plant in the found in the foothills of the Himalayas in northern India, and it's very, very expensive. 如果你用 Google 方式去查这个香膏油的话，你会发现它是在喜马拉雅山的山脚下，印度北部所种的一种植物所提炼出来的。So how expensive? It's what she brought was one year's worth of salary, one year's worth of wages. 这是非常非常昂贵的一个香膏。这些香膏，这个女人带来的香膏是足要一年的薪水才能够买的。So the way Mark was describing this in Mark 14, it's not like you can go to Family Mark or 7-Eleven and buy this stuff. 所以马可福音在讲的这个珍纳达香膏，不是我们到全家便利商店可以轻易买到的。And you can't even go to Sogo or in the United States, you can't even go to South Coast Plaza. To buy this stuff, so you can't go to Taipei, Sogo, or maybe to Jiangsu, Jiujun's this Nanan, uh, 购物中心买得到的 It costs 
a year's wages. So the cost of the perfume was the main reason why most of the people, these religious people in that room, were critical, were angry towards this woman. So let me ask the guys here, how many of you bought your wife or girlfriend perfume that's worth one year's worth of wages? Your wages. <laughs> 我要问在场的男士,你有花这么多钱,一年的费用的这样的钱去买这个香膏给你的太太或女朋友吗? Josh, did you do that? <笑> I don't. Brian? No. I, 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 I really haven't met anyone, any guy, that bought perfume for his wife or girlfriend that cost one year of his wages. 在牧师将近六十岁的这样的年龄里面，他还没有看过有人真的一个男生花这样的钱去买给送给他的女朋友或配偶。But the reality for this woman was that monetary value of this perfume was not the issue for her. 但对这个女人来讲，这个香膏的这个金钱的价值并不是她所考量的。The cost was the smallest part for her. 这个她根本没有考虑到这香膏的成本啊。The reason. Was that this type of alabaster flask for that time period was most likely a family heirloom for one of two reasons. Archaeologists would tell us that these type of flasks were used as a dowry for the woman's wedding or if she was single. It was used to be anointed in her body when she passes away, and the flask, that broken flask, was actually part of the coffin. Uh,根据考古学家的记载，这个珍纳达香膏是这个女人她要出嫁的时候的一个嫁妆。或许这个女人她如果是单身的话，当她死的时候，这个香膏要抹在她的身上，我们可以发觉到这个坟墓里面都
and, and just drip it on a little bit on Jesus and, and then saving it for future use. What she did was she broke the flask and poured it on Jesus' head. It was something that she did with her whole being, her whole heart, not holding anything back. I believe this woman really thought things through. Whether it's the grace of Jesus that she thought about. Or the love of Jesus that moved her. Or the forgiveness of Jesus that overwhelmed her and released her. In the quiet moments of her heart, she purposed to do this for her Lord and Savior. The verb here to pour is not like drip, drip. It's to drench, it's to cover. And drench Jesus with this perfume oil. Some gospel writers wrote that she anointed Jesus' feet, but the fact is she drenched Jesus' head and it poured over his body and touched, covered his feet. So think about this. People outside were plotting his death. And then one of Jesus' disciples, Judas, was going to be betraying Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. It was dark times on the outside, and in front of Jesus, even darker, it was the cross. It was at this moment that this lady showed up and anoints Jesus. And God knows everything, so the Old Testament talks about this. Psalm 23, 5-6. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. 神在掌管的这一切，诗篇二十三篇五到六节，在我的人面前，你为我摆设宴席，你用油膏了我的头，使我的福杯满意。我一生一世必有恩惠慈爱随着我，我且要住在耶和华的殿中，直到永远。God knows and God has a purpose even in darkness。在这个黑暗的时刻，神依然在掌权，而且神有他的用意。So are you in the dark now？我们现在在黑暗当中吗？ Look to Jesus. Give whatever that's burdening you to Him. Spend time with Jesus. So what happened next? Mark 14, 4 4-5. But there were some who were indignant among themselves and said, Why was this fragrant oil wasted? For it might have been sold for more than 300 denarii and give, given to the poor. And they criticized her Sharply. This beautiful, thoughtful, personal, loving action by this lady to Jesus was met by criticism. This they criticized her in the book of John. It recorded that Judas, the one who spent three years with Jesus, the one in charge of the money, the one who betrayed Jesus, was leading the charge in the criticism. People there were religious people, 
and they were the disciples of Jesus, and they were indignant. 这些啊，只有宗教上面的领袖，这些耶稣的门徒们，他们却呃充满了怒容。I can't believe what she just did. 我真的不敢相信这个女人她做的这件事。What a waste of money! 太浪费钱了吧 ？She should have done it cheaper. 应该要买更便宜的来教耶稣就好了。The money should go to the church and given to the poor. 这个香膏应该可以卖三十两银子来周济穷人。They were murmuring and criticizing her. 他们不断的在喋喋不休，在批评了这个女人。You can't even say they're growling at her. 他们甚至向这个女人咆哮啊 ！Why didn't they see the beauty of what she had done for her Lord and Savior? 这些人为什么没有看到这个女人在我们的救主，在她生命的主上所做的美事呢 ？These people were there and saw the amazing miracles of what Jesus had done. 当时的人，这些宗教的领袖，这些门徒看到耶稣所行的神迹，不是吗 ？They should have cheered her and said, "I wish I'd done that." 他们应该为这个女人来来鼓励她，说啊，希望是我来做这个事。But at that time. You see, this is how it is for people who are religious on the outside, look good on the outside, but dead and dark on the inside. We can 看到这些外表敬虔的这些虚伪的这些人，他们的内心是多么的黑暗啊 ！These Pharisees, these chief priests, these Sadducees, they all make rules for the church. 这些法利赛人、这些文士、这些撒都该人，他们只会定下种种的规条。You know. The chief priests and the scribes, they were plotting on the outside, but inside, the disciples and the religious leaders, they're growling, ridiculing this woman, and I don't know which is worse. 你知道吗？这些法利赛人、这些文士，他们在外面要哦强诡计啊，来杀害耶稣。但是在这个屋子里面，这些宗教领袖、这些门徒却不了解耶稣的心，还批评这个女生。I mean, I understand the Pharisees not getting it. They should have. 呃，我我知道，我们理解这些法利赛人，他们不了解耶稣是救主，我们可以明白。I mean, people, but people on the inside, they're not getting it. Wow. 但是耶稣的门徒，还有这些在西门家里的，他们不明白耶稣。我真的是没办法理解。She is now the subject of their hypocritical looks and pithy remarks. 这个女生呢，变成这些伪君子，这些他们呃批判的一个对象。She misused church funds. She misused resources. We could help the poor. We could help social causes. 这些人批评说，呃，他们误用了教会的这些资源。他们，我们可以把这些资源呃做社会的公益。这样的用法根本不对，不要用在耶稣身上。We should save every penny. 我们要为教会啊保管，好好善用每一分钱。Their remarks about helping the poor was just a curtain to block their true, cold, stingy, tight-fisted self. 他们说这些应该周济穷人，但是却是一个掩藏他们自己内心黑暗的这样的一个呃一个布幕。When you see someone who's generous to others. Generous to the church. For certain people, the way they deal with this, with their own inadequacies of not giving the way they should, is to say something like, "We here at our church take care of the poor, and we watch every single penny." 有人呢看到人将呃努力的奉献为主的事工这样努力的献上，但是这些批评的人，他们却会掩藏自己虚伪的面容，就说，哎，我们应该照顾穷人。But That's a lie. 但是这是个谎言啊。Do you and I really watch every single penny God has given in you in your personal life? 我们在生命当中所赚取的每一分钱，我们是不是有好好的善尽用在神的身上呢 ？Are we as generous to God and to His church as we to ourselves, to our family, to our friends, to our clients? 我们对我们自己、对我们的家人、对我们的朋友、对我们的客户是。比较大方呢，还是对上帝和他的教会大方呢 ？Judas, who was leading this charge and criticizing this woman, he did not care about the poor. 犹大，由他带头批评这个女生，他自己才不管穷人的死活。The only poor person he cared about was himself. 犹大只关心他自己啊。They ridiculed her because they were jealous of her. 这些门徒取笑这个女生，因为他们心生嫉妒。J.C. Ryle, born 1816. Died 1900 was an Anglican bishop, and he said this about this section of the Bible. Ah, 英国的一个呃国教的一个主教莱尔主教，他针对呃这个记载，这个马可福音的记载讲了下面的话 ：The spirit of these narrow-minded fault finders is unhappily 
only too common. 这些心中狭窄、只会在鸡蛋里挑骨头的人，其实这样的人随处可见。And this is a paraphrase. These people are in every church, in every generation, and they always cry out about the extremes in religion in serving Christ, and they recommend moderation in the service of Christ. 呃，这样这段话的呃意思可以这样翻译。这些心胸狭窄的人在教会里面随处可见。当他们看见有人全心为教会献上的时候，他们就招，他们就批评这些人。If he serves money, pleasure; if he devotes his time, money, and affection to the pursuit of worldly things, they don't blame him. 如果有人他啊尽全力去赚钱，然后关切这些属世的事物的，这样的人反而不会被批评。If he serves money, pleasure. And politics, they find no fault. 如果他把他的心思放在钱财上面，放在享乐上面，放在政治上面的话，人们也找不出这样的人的出处。But if the man, the same man, devotes all he has to Christ, they not only disagree, disagree, but call this action folly. 如果这样的人他把全部的心思放在主耶稣身上的话，这些人反而批评他说，这个人是愚昧的。He must be. Out of his mind. This person 一定是疯了 He just turned into a fanatic. This person 他变成一个宗教的狂热者 One of the ways to confront this beautiful, this woman's beautiful action was to call her a fanatic. 如果我们要批评呃珍娜达香膏这个女生她的作为的话，这些人就会批评她，她是信宗教狂热者 It was a skillful way of blocking their. Cold, hard hearts. Because 透过批评这个女生，把她们内心的这些诡诈能够隐藏起来。They do this in politics and in churches all the time. 其实我们在政治界跟宗教界都可以看到这样的批评指责。But this woman, she was willing to pour her future onto Jesus. 但是这个女人，这个珍娜达香港女人，她愿意把她的未来交托在主的手里。So a fanatic in the Christian world. Is someone who loves Jesus more than me and more than you. So, in a, uh, 对基督这样的极端狂热的一个人是，其实他的爱是超过我们献给我们的主的。That guy in my high school, he loved Jesus more than me. 呃，我中学遇到这个嬉皮传扬耶稣的这个嬉皮，他对耶稣的爱，呃，比我爱耶稣更多。This lady was sold out for Jesus, but all these people saw. Wow, that crazy, wasteful woman. She's a fanatic. When this woman, she gave her full heart to Jesus, the crowd criticized her. We don't want any of that. 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 We made up. 我们要按照教会宗派的规矩，我们所定的规矩，我们要节约来来来使用呃这些资源。The beauty of wholehearted worship. Totally sold out for Jesus was shown by this lady. This woman so displayed is completely devoted to our Lord Jesus Christ. When you break that flask open and pour the content onto Jesus, the head and drench anointing his body, that wonderful fragrance of the perfume filled the whole room and affected everyone. 当这个女生，这个女人打破这个玉瓶，把这个香膏油浇灌在耶稣身上的时候，这香膏油的香气充满了整个屋子。So when you and I truly worship the Lord, there's this wonderful, beautiful fragrance that comes out. 当我们真心敬拜我们的主的时候，就会有一个香气呃满溢出来。Now think about this. If this lady went through the proper channels and went to the elders of the church, to the deacons of the church, to the leaders of the church, and said. You know, I'm going to do this and pour this oil on Jesus because I love him. 如果这个女生她呃跟教会的长老、跟教会的执事讲说，嘿，我要把这一瓶呃极为昂贵的真高油完全浇灌在耶稣的身上，你看她会得到什么反应 ？I'm going to do this because I owe him my life. 啊，这个女生说，因为耶稣救赎我的生命，所以我就要这样全心献上。I want to do this because I want to worship him. 我要这样子做，因为我要敬拜我的主。He's given me grace. He's given me love and forgiveness. Jesus gave me love, gave me grace. He gave me forgiveness. What do you think the elders and the deacons and the powerful people who runs the church would say? 
。你想说这些教会掌管这些教会的这些有利人士，他们的反应会是如何 ？Don't do that. 哎，不要这么做。That's not in our Baptist, our Methodist, our Presbyterian, our Evangelical fill in the blank church rules. It's not in our rules. 啊，我们的呃，我们这个呃，卫理公会，我们长老教会，我们福音派，我们不这么做的啦。We can't allow you to do that. 我们可不允许你这样子做。They criticize this woman. 可能他们会批评这位女士。What a stupid, wasteful woman! 啊，你真的是太愚蠢了，这样子太浪费了啦。Not following our rules. 啊，你根本就没有照着教会的规定来走。Think about this. September 18th, 1997, Ted Turner gave one. Billion dollars to the UN. 我们知道 CUN 的创办人 Ted Turner 曾经捐给联合国十亿美金。Bill Gates gave over 50 billion US dollars away for causes he and his wife like. 呃，比尔盖茨夫妇他为了这些慈善的这些呃公益的呃目的，捐了五百亿美金。They these acts of generosity and they were generous. They're cheered by everyone, virtually everyone. So Ted. Turner 跟这个比尔盖茨他们的这些善心的举动，得到很多人的这些鼓励，呃呃呃的的赞扬。But if a person sacrifices everything for the gospel, would there be cheers and encouragements? 但是一个人如果为了福音的缘故倾其所有的话，你觉得他会受到鼓励吗 ？Oh, I can't believe he would do that. 啊，我才。真的不敢相信他会这么做。We could have built schools or hospital with that money. 他的奉献的钱，我们可以呃盖学校，不是更好吗 ？You're telling me you're going to give all that money so people can tell other people about Jesus and how Jesus can save them from their sins? 你做这些所有的奉献，你要跟人家传扬耶稣基督的福音，不要这么办吧 ？I can't believe you're wasting your money on Jesus. 我真的不敢相信你把钱虚掷在耶稣身上。Giving Jesus the best. 啊，把一最好的给耶稣。We should go with what works and cheap and save money. 我们应该用比较省钱的方式来从事这些宣扬福音的事情。I mean, we don't want to waste the offering. We don't want to misuse church funds. 我们不应该误用教会的这些资源。We need moderation in our service to Christ. 我们对耶稣的服侍，我们应该节约的来进行。And again, we need to follow our church denominational rules. 当然，我们根据我们宗派教会宗派的规定来做。So listen to this. C. T. Studd, born 1860. Died 1931. Was a missionary from England, and he served in China, India, and Africa. Ah,、uh, 英国的一个呃、uh, 传教人施施达德，他在中国、印度跟非洲做宣教。In fact, he learned and spoke Chinese, and all his five children were born in China. 施达德还学习中文，他五个孩子都在中国出生。He was highly intelligent, and he went to Cambridge, and also became a national hero in the sport of cricket. 他是非常非常聪明的人，他是去念剑桥大学，而且他是一个运动明星，板球的运动名将。Before he was a missionary, you know, he learned. He, he was、um, his family was multi. How do I say? Very wealthy, multi gazillionaires. 呃，他出生的家庭，呃，他在做传道的之，他的家世是非常非常险恶，非常非常有钱。So he was the Bill Gates. The Michael Jordan and the Louis Vuitton of his time. So in his time, this Shedder, he is like the Bill Gates, like the Jordan, Michael Jordan, even the Louis Vuitton combined. Three people combined. Yes, it was all in one person. Three of these, you can imagine, are Shedder who can get such a name. So people were asking. What happened to C.T. Studd? So, 当时的人们会说，哎，那师大的人呢 ？I heard he went overseas. 啊，听说他去国外了。Well, he went to China, he went to India, and now he is in Africa. 啊，他当宣教师之后，他去了中国，去了印度，去了非洲。Conversation went. What's he doing there? 啊，那他是在非洲做什么呢 ？Well, he gave up his fortune, his position, his good life, and went to be a missionary, missionary to tell other people about Jesus. 他把他的所有的钱，把他的地位，这把他的声望，全部都呃捐出去，然后他在为耶稣传扬福音。What is he out of his mind? 什么施达德是不是疯了 ？Well, he thinks it's important to talk to people about Jesus, and he's willing to invest his whole life and gave everything. To charities, just trusting Jesus. Ah, he thinks that spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ is very important, so he is willing to give everything he has to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. But what about his wife? Ah, that Shedder's wife. Well, he didn't leave his 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 wife. Well,
before for his wife before he left for Africa. Well, that's good. He took care of his wife. But no, 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 the conversation went. His wife is as crazy as he is. When she found out that her husband left her 100,000 pounds, and by the way, 100,000 pounds in today's money is 12 million pounds today, 16 million US dollars today. 當時十萬英磅的話,是現金是大概1200萬英磅,是美金1600萬啊。When she found out, when his wife found out that she he left this for her, she was not happy, she was perturbed. 當時達德的太太說,什麼,我的先生留下10萬英磅給我,他心裡其實極度的不高興。She thought, why does my husband think I couldn't just trust God? Like he is trusting God over there for my daily provision. So she told her husband to give all that money to William Booth, the founder of the Salvation Army. She said, He'll put it to good use. So they were both crazy from the human perspective. But C.T. Studd wrote this. If Jesus Christ be God and died for me, then no sacrifice I could ever make for him could ever be too great. 但是斯达德这样写道, 如果耶稣基督是神, 然后他为我献, this is the economy of God's kingdom. On earth we think it's foolish, but not in heaven. This is why the poor lady a couple chapters back when she gave two cents and the wealthy put in a lot more, but the economy of heaven, in the economy of heaven, Jesus said this about that section, Mark 12, 43 to 44. So he called his disciples to himself and said to them, Assuredly, I say to you that this poor widow has put in more than all those who have given to the treasury, for they all put in out of their abundance, but she out of her poverty put in all that she had, her whole livelihood. So in Mark 福音十二章,耶稣这样说,耶稣叫门徒来说,我实在告诉您,这寡妇投入库里面的两分钱,比众人所投了更多,因为他们都是把自己有余的拿出来投在里面,但这寡妇是自己不足,他把一切养生的都
耶稣说：“由他吧，为什么为难他呢？他在我身上做的是一件美事，因为常有穷人和你们同在，要向他们行善，随时都随时都可以。只是你们不常有我。他所做的是尽他所能的，他是为我安葬的事，把香膏预先浇在我身上。我实在告诉你们，普天之下，无论在什么地方传这福音，也要诉说这女人所做的，以为纪念。” I mean, there are so many sermons I could just preach in this in these four verses alone, but for today. Jesus told them, "Why do you trouble her?" Ah, in this four verses, four four verses of the text, the priest can have many verses to talk about. But what Jesus today is going to talk about is Jesus said, "Why do you trouble this woman?" She did a good thing. Yeah, this woman did a good thing. The poor, they're going to be with you here, and you just need to take care of them. You know, take care of the poor, but I'm not going to be with you always. You in this place often have poor people with you. You need to take care of these poor people. But I'm not going to be with you. What this lady did in her worship was now will never, because Jesus will soon be crucified. This woman did what she did in the moment, because Jesus is going to be crucified. So listen, Jesus said she has done what she could, which was beautiful and true. Jesus said she has done what she could, which was beautiful, true. Jesus said she has done what she could, which was beautiful, true. Jesus said she has done what she could, which was beautiful, true. Jesus said she has done what she could, which was beautiful, true. Jesus said she has done what she could, which was beautiful, true. Jesus said she has done what she could, which was beautiful, true. Jesus said she has done what she could, which was beautiful, true. Jesus said she has done what But criticized her. This woman is doing all she can to do what she can. You can imagine the other people; they don't do anything in my presence. Are you or am I doing what we could for Jesus while we still can with what we still have? In our all of our resources, in our all of our capabilities, in our all of our abilities, in our all of our resources, in our all of our capabilities, in our all of our resources, in our all of our abilities, in our all of our resources. And you don't either. 对我个人而言，我并不知道明天会如何。你们也是如此啊。She's done what she could now. 这个女人在当下这个时刻尽她所能够做的。She anointed his body for his burial. 耶，她用香膏是为了耶稣安葬之前做的。Because in that time in the Middle East, no dead body would be buried before it was anointed with oil, but Jesus. In the near future, he had to face he had to face the agony of being punched in the face, of whips on his back, of the brutal beatings, and the agony of the cross. There was no time, no provision made for his anointing with oil except for now at this time. 在中东，你要为死者在死前，在他死的时候要抹上香膏，但是对耶稣来讲，并没有那个预备的时间呢、啊。耶稣即将要走上十字架，他要被。呃，被，被被被打，被鞭，然后呢，死在十字架上，没有时间为耶稣的死来抹香膏油啊。So Jesus told them, wherever the gospel is preached, this woman's action will be memorialized as what should be the proper response to me. 所以耶稣跟门徒讲说：“你们到普天之下传福音的时候，都要诉说这个女女人所做的这件事情作为纪念，这是再合一不过了。”She gave Jesus. All she has, knowing that Jesus, listen, Jesus became poor, so we can become rich. This woman, who gave her all, sat on Jesus Christ's side. Because of Jesus' poverty, we can become rich. So the question for you and me is this: Where are you and I in this story? So we have to ask the question: Are you and I in this story? Are you and I in this story? Are you and I in this story? Part of the criticizers, or on the side of this lady. Ah, I was those who criticized the person, or I was standing on the side of this woman. You know, this week as I was preparing for the Christmas Eve message and for this morning's message, I had to ask myself this question. Ah, Mr. This week, as I was preparing for the Christmas Eve message and for this morning's message, I had to ask myself this question. Ah, Mr. This week, as I was preparing for the Christmas Eve message and for this morning's message, I had to ask myself this question. Ah, Mr. This week, as I was preparing for By taking the high road, we need to help the poor and watch this and watch that. And I came up with rules for everyone, and I pretty much criticized everybody. Ah, many years ago, the priest was like this. Ah, that is, ah, for the church to set rules. How should we use this money? How should we help the poor? He was the one who set rules. That person was the priest. As the church session clerk, many years ago. Something like the head elder. I made people come to me if they want to do anything in church. If they want money for this church fellowship, you know, 
Come to me. 呃，牧师当呃当时担任小会的这个领导者，然后如果说教会有办任何的团契的活动的话，都必须来到呃牧师的面前，然后向他寻求、呃、怎么样来使用。I would tell them what to do and how to save every single penny, but I was just covering up my dark heart. 啊，牧师说啊，你们办这些团契的活动要怎么样才能够省钱？但是牧师这样的说法其实呃遮掩自己黑暗的的这个。I did not even pray. For certain things, only the things that were safe. Lord, bless the food. Lord, take care of this church. Lord, protect us. But these were just safe things. Ah,、uh, 牧师祷告的内容只是说牧呃为了这些食物，为了教会，为这些呃牧师认为觉得说啊一定没问题的事情来祷告。But I did not pray about Lord. Where do you want me to go? Lord, how do you want to use me? 主啊，你要如何使用我呢 ？What do you want to do with the money that you bless me with？ 呃，我所赚的钱，你所祝福给我的钱，我要怎么样来使用？主啊，你告诉我。Lord, is there anything in my life that you would want to change in me？ 主啊，在我的生命里面，有些我需要改变的地方吗 ？I did not give my Lord my future and my hopes. I did not give him my dreams. 我并没有把我的未来、把我的计划、把我的梦想全都交在主的手里。I did not give to my Lord everything I wanted to do, wanted to earn, wanted to be known by. 呃，我没有把我想要赚取的、我所计划的都交托在主的手里。I just made decisions and asked God to bless them. 呃，我自己已经先做了决定，然后求神来祝福。Because If I prayed the way God wanted to wanted me to pray and held nothing back, God may make me to become a pastor, a missionary in some foreign land, some crazy stuff. Ah, if I 全心把我自己交托在主的手里的话，我的主可能叫我去做一个牧师，然后去一个呃国外一个不知名的地方传教。I want to do something I'm comfortable doing, moderation in the church, nothing too radical. 啊、uh, ，我要做我呃、uh, 能够做的事情，呃、uh, 能够呃、uh, 节约使用呃、uh, 的的事情，呃、uh, 我我不要做那个我没办法掌控的事情。But I was so wrong in my thinking. 但是在我的思想里面，这是全然错误的。God has so much more meaningful, better, real life for me. 啊、uh, ，神他所给我们的生命的计划，其实更丰富、更充满的恩典的。You know, as I was driving this week, and you know, when I drive, I'm by myself sometimes, and I'm praying and、uh, praying about the messages for this week, both Christmas Eve and today. And as I was thinking, you know, tears just rolled down my eyes. I thank the Lord for loving me, for not giving up on me. 啊、uh, ，在我准备这些圣诞节跟今天礼拜的讲道的时候，当我独自一个人开车或是呃私下的时候，呃，我的眼泪不由自主的流了下来。神所赐给我的生命是多么的丰富啊 ！I was such a hypocrite. 我真的是一个伪君子。I thank the Lord for turning my heart towards Him and help me to worship and serve Him with my whole heart and giving me the opportunity to serve Him. 呃、uh, ，我感谢主，让我能够我的生命能够转向他，那我能够全心的交托在他的手里，让我的生命有意义。See, when you and I give our whole heart to Him, God will never shortchange us. 当我们全心的把我们自己交在神的手里的时候，神绝对不会亏待亏我们。We can never outgive God. 因为神所给我们的，我们根本没有办法超越神所给我们的。You know, I I still remember it was you know right at Um, near the library、um, in Shiling, and I was just driving, and I just remember, just with tears, I told the Lord that I want to serve you, no matter where you sent me. Ah, when the pastor went to the Shiling Library, he prayed to the Lord and said, "Lord, I am willing to serve you, no matter where you send me." You today can also do that. Can also do that. We can also do that. We can also do that. We can also do that. And serve God with your whole heart and actions by being the best doctor in loving God with your whole heart and with your actions. 如果你是一个医生的话，你可以做这样的祷告，把自己全心交在主的手里，让他带领你去服侍人。You can be a businessman and serve God with your whole heart, with all your actions, and you can never outgive God. 你可能是一个生生意人，你可以做这样的一个祷告。我愿意全心交在你的手里，然后神所赏赐给你的一定远远超过你。And you can be a teacher today, 
and serve God by being the best teacher, being the teacher when people look at you, they see Jesus in you. 你可以可能是一个老师，你可以跟神祷告说：“主啊，我愿意全心的奉献给你，然后呢，让我成为你的一个见证人，在我所教导的任何的事的场合里面来见证你。” When you and I do that, God has so much more to show you and me, and allow us to experience real purpose, real satisfaction, satisfaction, something that we never would have known. 当你做这样一个全心奉献的祷告的时候，神将会带领你去经历一个你前所未有的一个丰盛的生命。That's the economy of heaven. 这是天国的筹算啊。You see, people, these people that criticize this and that, they're gone from history. No one really remembers them. 你知道这些批评这个女人的，他们已经在历史上没有留下任何的痕迹。But this woman. Who gave up her future and gave it to Jesus shall be remembered. 但是这个女女人，她把她自己的未来全部交托在她主的手里，她将会被人们永远记得。Today in Calvary, this is two thousand years later. Here in Taiwan, we know what this anonymous lady, who was sold out for Jesus and loved Jesus with all her heart, we know her. 今天我们在这里宣讲这样的一个福音的内容，我们纪念这个不知名的女生，她所为耶稣全心摆上的这一切，我们都知道。The rich and famous, the kings and queens, the presidents, and all the high-ranking people, they will die and not be remembered one generation later. They'll just be some name in history. But Jesus said, "Not this woman." 这些呃掌权的人，这些富富有的人，这些名流，这些政治家，这些总统，他们存在历史上只是留下他们的名字。但是这个女生呢，她将会永远被纪念。She will be remembered. 她会被所有的传教的人以及我们所有相信主的人纪念。For anything to last, to be meaningful in the light of eternity, it is first. To honor Jesus Christ. 如果我们在永生里面要永远值得被纪念的话，就是来遵从我们的主。Is honor Jesus with all your heart and all your actions. 让我们全心全意来尊荣我们的主。It does not matter what you or other people say about you and me. The only thing that counts, that truly matters, is what God says about you and me. 不是人们对你的呃指教或批评是怎么样，而是神怎么样来看待你，这才是最重要的。The lady gave. To Jesus, her best, and while the others criticized, Jesus said what she did was right. This woman gave everything she had, and Jesus said she did the right thing. She did what she could now. 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 所以在马可福音八章三十六节，人若是赚得全世界，赔上自己的生命，有什么益处呢 ？So let's stop making excuses, and it starts with me. 呃，我们不要再做有任何的说全心摆上的借口吧。从我开始。Let's show it by our actions. 让我们透过我们的行动来彰显我们是全心奉上。In this new year that's coming, and next Sunday is going to be a brand new year. Let's serve and trust God with our whole heart, with our all, with our Actions and serve Him only. In the new year, when the new year is coming, let us be fully committed to serving God with our whole heart and our whole soul. Let's pray. 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 Let's pray.